Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to my channel, or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is every Wednesday I go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Mood's Instagram page, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if I think everything's a total washout. I'm actually really feeling this look today very pumpkin spicy. I dug back into the Sunset palette from Natasha Denona, and I just took all of the like orangey shades in here and made a very pumpkin spice inspired look and then I went for like a warm darker nude and I just think they really match well together this is the Jeffree Star lipstick in Leo feeling the look feeling the look I actually also just filmed the first part of the hourglass video this morning because I do want to show you guys how the both of the palettes apply for a full face so I'm wearing the pink palette on my face today. So before we jump into the video don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this weekly series and if you're not and you'd like to hope you will consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So let's see what trend mood has in store for us this week. Oh the an update the ColourPop stick foundation that came out last week I ordered three different shades and they should be here today yes Wednesday so I'll get them in the mail today let me know if you guys want to see just like I don't really like foundation first impressions but if you want to see me use them in like a quick video or maybe a live stream this weekend I can do that but I do want to test the foundation out for a couple of weeks and then do another full review video kind of like the Too Faced one that I just put out. So let me know if you do want to see just kind of like my first thoughts on it sooner than that video will be ready. That's the worst feeling like when you want to sneeze it's stuck right here and it just doesn't want to come out. So ABH is bringing back the Amorizi highlight and I know this highlight was just like everywhere. Like, everyone and their mother was talking about how much they love this highlight. I saw it in store, I swatched it, I didn't think it was all that great. Um, I think people were just jumping on because, like, the packaging is gorgeous. Like, the, the ripples on the top of it, that's gorgeous. But the actual product itself, it's just, like, a light gold highlighter. And I'm sure if you're a makeup lover, you've got a similar shade in your collection. So this palette tempted me, and I think I might have talked about it when they first like kind of previewed it. This is one of the Sephora Pro palettes, and I think now it's finally available. This is the Editorial 2.0. I'm really just interested in like the middle two rows, because the bottom row is all like blues and purples. The top row is neutrals, but like the, the fourth row is like mustards and greens and a bronze. I wanted that part. But then again, I look at it and I'm like, okay, this is a Sephora palette. It is $68. $68, yeah, dollars. No, I can't. I can't. Nah. Okay, so. I spend a lot of time on Reddit, I love Reddit, um, and someone on Reddit, I'll throw the post up here, posted someone who did swatches of these new KKW like pigment things, and those swatches look like garbage, yes. And then like you see the swatches like from Trend Mood, and you're just like, so, so what's the real swatch? How does the product actually perform? Honestly, this just continues the trend of nothing by KKW, like, ever being interesting enough for me to try and get. But, you know, yeah. I mean, I, certain things from Kylie, like, get me really interested and I bought. Speaking of Kylie, I still haven't gotten the Halloween palette. Like... The order was delayed because I guess a lot of, like, they suck at shipping and they suck with their releases. If you know that a release is going to go well, why can't, I, I don't know why they can't put the resources in to process orders, like, to what they're expecting it to be. Because I don't like having to wait, like, two and a half weeks to get a Halloween palette. And I'm not going to get it until, like, less than a week before Halloween. Oh, that's the one, like... Come on, Kylie. You don't do returns and you suck at shipping? Come on. <sighs> anyway, 
back to this, um, I, odds are I wasn't gonna buy it anyway, because it's KKW, but, like, after seeing those Reddit swatches, like, definitely not. And I would definitely recommend you just check out that post just to take a look at the swatches over there. So Jeffree Star is releasing another eyeshadow palette. I did really like the last one, the Thirsty palette. I think it was just really misleading with the sneak peeks, so I'm not really going to put a lot of stock into whatever sneak peeks he's going to be releasing. But once I see the full palette, I, I mean, I'm interested. Like, he does different palette styles, different palette types, so I wonder if it's going to be, like, mostly shimmery palettes, because, like, the Thirsty palette had a new formula in it that was the metallic formula. So I wonder if he's going to try to do like a whole palette with just that formula or if it's going to be more like cranberry theme. But he has the blood sugar palette so he wouldn't need to do like a cranberry typical holiday palette. So I'm, I'm interested but I'm not going to like hang on to those sneak peeks because I know like they're really misleading. I'm going to wait until the actual picture of the palette is released. Estee Lauder is trying something a little bit different. They're coming out with the Futurist Aqua Brilliance Custom Foundation and Illuminator Duo. So it's like this duo bottle and it's got like two pumps on it, I guess. And one of the compartments is filled with the Futurist Foundation, a radiant finish and medium coverage combined with SPF 20. While the other side is a matching shade of the Estee Lauder Illuminator, which blends pink-toned light reflective particles to brighten up and refresh the complexion. I guess it's only available in Korea, and it only comes in four shades, and it's $80. Like, none of this... no. If Okay, first, if it's a, um illuminating finish foundation, why do I also need a highlighter with it? That, I feel like that's a lot of glow. Don't get me wrong. Some people like glow, but I feel like that's a lot of glow. Second, uh, there's only four shades. What the hell? Third, it's only available in Korea. Who knows if it's even going to be coming here. But fourth, it's $80. Like, it kept getting worse as we went down <laughs> the list. No. Okay, so I'm going to butcher this name, but uh, Laneige, I think it's Laneige, is coming out with a new liquid liner, and the only thing that's apparently interesting about it is the applicator, and it looks like it's one half of a pair of scissors where it's got like a hole in the middle so you can hold the liner brush. Personally, I'm not a fan of like these big gimmicky like liner applicators. Liner can be pretty difficult. I definitely wasn't good at it when I first started, but if you just take a regular liner pen, pens are definitely easier to do this with, and just practice, you'll get there. Like, there's not gonna be like a hack or a tool that's gonna make it easier. You, you just have to practice. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is Wet n Wild coming out with two new Mega Glow highlighting powders and then like three new loose highlights. Personally, I think loose highlights are just too much like for my preferences and for me personally But if you're looking for something affordable that's gonna be blinding and that you're not gonna be able to like use up for a long time Go for one of their loose highlighters, but if you like the pressed highlighter instead their pressed highlighters are amazing The only thing I don't like is their packaging, but they're really easy to depot I've depotted almost all of them and I just have them in like one of my little Z palettes And it's great that they keep extending the shade range. I hope they're not like limited edition. I don't see anything here Yeah, it looks like They are permanent as far as I can tell so I really would recommend if you're interested or if you like these shades you pick these up because they are affordable they're great quality and they're gonna last you forever. All right guys, so that's gonna complete this week's edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. Let me know what you thought of the products down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.